musculocutaneous nerve arises from the lateral cord of the brachial plexus. It's located in the axilla, lateral to the median nerve and axillary artery, medial to the corobrachialis muscle and anterior to the subscapularis muscle. It then enters the corobrachial muscle before passing between the biceps brachii in front and the brachialis muscle behind. It is located in the subcutaneous layers between the biceps brachii tendon and the cephalic vein. After this point, it is called the lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve and splits into two branches, one anterior and one dorsal, which provides sensory innervation of the lateral part of the forearm. The musculocutaneous nerve can be viewed on the ultrasound, starting from the point where it exits the axilla. For this, I suggest locating the coracoid process and the proximal insertion of the coracobrachialis. The musculocutaneous nerve will be seen on the deep aspect of the coracobrachialis, which it is going to penetrate, and we will be able to follow it along its entire path. Where it exits the coracobrachial muscle, the musculocutaneous nerve runs between the biceps brachii in front and the brachialis muscle behind. The musculocutaneous nerve then runs towards the surface to cross the antibrachial apuneurosis and is located in the subcutaneous layers. When it pierces through the antibrachial fascia, the musculocutaneous nerve will be in close contact with the medial aspect of the biceps tendon and lateral aspect of the cephalic vein. The musculocutaneous nerve is most often affected where it enters the corocobrachial muscle, but also where it pierces the antibrachial apuneurosis to become superficial. Here we have an example of a patient, three months after a traffic accident, who still has trouble flexing his arm. The ultrasound shows hypertrophy of the musculocutaneous nerve associated with marked atrophy of the biceps brachii. <laughs>